The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to the February 27th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the good. We can find the gift in every set of circumstances that life is going to toss at us. Of course, today, you and I, we're interested in the circumstance of these markets. We want to figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are doing at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. We want to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. So thanks so much for joining us. Of course, I'd love to hear from you. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, let those fingers do the walking. That means just send me an email, steve at tfnn.com, inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question in, in the Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow off about 60 points. 25,997 is the print. S&P's down three. NASDAQ off 20. Russell is in the green. Uh, may have formed a uh, bottom out here. Bottom, you say. Uh, it's up a buck 70. Semis are off 16 bucks. That's the indice that looks about the worst right now. Uh, the trannies are off 54. They're not that far behind, or maybe it's neck and neck. NASDAQ composite off seven points, no big deal. New York Stock Exchange is green slightly, but up five points out there. Gold is off seven. Silver down 16 pennies. Light sweet crude up a buck 74. And uh, natural gas up just slightly as well. Leading the charge, by the way, the upside, it's Kronos Advanced Technology. No, that can't be right. Says up 300% with a zero change. Yeah, something is wrong with the system out here. God, you hate that. What the heck just happened on the. Uh, oh, I've got percentage gainers. I have no idea how that happened. Let me see if we can get. Wow, no wonder the uh, point gainers would be good. There we go. Let's see if we can get the. Uh, there we go. Mercado Libre. Wow, that's up 65 buck roonies at 17% to the upside. CoStar Group, that's up 46 bucks or 11%. GW Pharma, that's up 13.5% or $20. Palo Alto Network's up 17 To the downside, it's Inogen, uh, that's off $37, 27%. AutoZone off a quarter, that's 25 bucks or 2.5%. So this thing's moving to the upside, to the downside. Of course, we're going to take a look at what you want to look at. And what you want to look at, that would be Michael H. Michael H., writes in michael was up early so i'm thinking michael listens to the uh listens to the archive uh or or he's a very early riser now i love the early bird catches the worm so maybe michael is just simply catching the worm out here but he says uh, steve the symbol kgc that's what we've got up on our screen and that's kinross gold his question is on a three-month daily chart let's open up our daily chart out here so on a daily chart his question is regarding the 12-21-2018 candle session. That's this candle session here with this big volume bar, 137 million shares. He says it has extremely high volume that produced a long-legged doji. Good point out there. Does this mean that the bulls and bears were virtually equal that day? Yes. On this stock? Yes. Since it closed two cents lower than the previous day, it's not a bullish engulfing candle. Well, it wouldn't be a bullish engulfing candle no matter what. So, Michael, the bullish reversal signals, not all, but bullish engulfing candles specifically, must occur during a downtrend. 
and on the trading session very specifically of December the 21st, prices were moving higher. They were moving in the opposite direction. So, for example, your bearish engulfing candle occurred inside of Ken Ross Gold on, Gold on December 26th. That's a bearish engulfing candle. It wraps around the entire body of the prior day out here, and it came during a trend to the upside. So a bullish engulfing candle, if I were to find one out here during a downtrend, um, you'd go with perhaps right here on October the 10th. Uh, that would be your bullish engulfing candle session. That's neither here nor there. With that much volume, I typically see a strong move either way up or down, any other takeaways out here? Here's my takeaway, and this comes from, uh, now I'm going to have to pay a royalty on this, but uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, if you think, you know, there are certain pearls of information, words that he uses, if you can understand the actual words out there, you know what I mean. I mean that in a very affectionate way. But if you take a look at what Tom will talk about is what? Wide price spread accelerated volume out here. Now, I don't consider a doji candle to be wide price spread. And I don't really think that's his interpretation. Was there wide price spread that day from high to low? Yes. But at the end of the day, Michael, as you pointed out, it was a draw because it was a doji candle. So what this doesn't have, what I see when I see volume days like this, you're right to be confused. We should all be confused because what the heck was that? Now, I don't know what was behind that move out there. How would I use it? I wouldn't ignore it, but I wouldn't give it uh, the type of weight that I would, like a breakout where you would have wide price spread, accelerated volume, or a breakdown where you could have wide price spread and accelerated volume. So we really didn't have that. We just had the accelerated volume. Maybe who knows what really took place um, out there. Uh, but here with regard to Ken Ross Gold, and you didn't ask me, what's Ken Ross Gold doing? Right now, it's trading below the top of its daily profile. The bottom and the center are at the same level, 323. It looks to me like the next move on Kinross Gold is between 323 and 328. 328 is the uh, top of its weekly profile. You close under 328, you've got to watch for 311. You close below 311, Kinross Gold will go down to $2.67. Does it have to go all the way down there? Um, no. But that would become your target out here. Now, the other level to be watching inside of Ken Ross Gold, you would know this unless you had Stevie's Ninja Trader charts. It's got that Tom DeMarc setup tool on it. And what you really want to be watching here, this says watch the trading session of January 26th out here. January 26th, that low, that low is $3.15. That is a key level of support for price to hold. So we've given you some numbers out there. If you close below that, that's a problem. That would be a big problem. First, you'd be, well, you'd be below Stevie's uh, or the TDST line out there, and you'd be below the daily profile, and now you start getting into that weekly. So, Michael, I hope that helps you out with regard to, well, accelerated volume. But we didn't see the wide price spread out there. So thanks for writing in. Much appreciated. We're about to go to break. We come back. I don't see any of the questions on deck, so we're going to go take a look at Palladium. For uh, Mr. Z and the Tiger's Den, we'll take a look at, um, well, we'll take a look at what these markets are doing, right? You want to understand what the markets are doing, especially, uh, well, all of them, but especially the Russell 2000, don't you think? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So um, let's uh, let's do this here. Uh, yeah, it's June. Okay, that's what I thought. So the uh, the question was, can we take a look at Palladium futures, uh, which did roll over to June, I believe. Uh, uh, and that's the confirmation I'm getting. And what you can see today, fairly sharp move to the downside. Um, and the see what I want to do is just take a look at the five hour time frame profile out here. And uh, what we can see is since uh, January 25th, so just a few days ago, right, it's the 27th, um, the bottoms of those boxes have held. We saw the most recent test of a bottom was at about 2,300 hours on uh, February the 20th. Oh, wait a minute here. I'm taking this back to January. We're in February, so a month ago. So the bottoms of these profiles are pretty important to you with regard to gathering information about what Palladium's next move might be. And the reason is because price is testing uh, the uh, bottom of that uh, box, which is 1480.30. You're trading at 1479.30. Uh, you and I are not going to worry about a buck. I mean, we worry about a buck, but we're not going to worry about a dollar with regard to a close under or something like that. But this is a key level of support. Now, this candle session, it's 119 uh, because of five-hour time frame on my charting system uh, because my charting system begins with the open of the contract each and every evening and then the close when the uh, contract closes. So this candle session will complete at 2. The next one will be at 5, and the next one after that uh, doesn't start until 6, which takes us to 11, then 4, then 9. You kind of get the math out there. So I would be watching this because a close below that would suggest that price is going to move lower. Now, the lower, since I don't have June Palladium on my Ninja Trader chart out there, we don't really necessarily need it, but the target for me would be 1406.20. That would be the top of the daily profile that formed about three or four days ago out here. So that's what I would be watching if I was taking a look at Palladium, uh, the June contract out there. If we look at the 30-minute 
the, the 120 minute out here. There's nothing that suggests that there's a bottom. I, I prefer to just kind of go to the hourly chart. So I'll just change the 30 to an hourly. That's below profiles as well. So I think the real fight is whether or not the uh, bulls can handle the or support the buyers can handle the bottom of that box on the five hour time frame again 1480.30 hope that helps you out now with regard to the markets out here i mentioned the russell 2000 and the russell 2000 again you and i use a specific set of tools these are the exact same set of tools uh where i was able to garner that uh, market timer of the year so I, there's there's no secrets here um really no secrets. No secrets. It, it's just uh, the, the, the no secrets. So if we take a look at it, you got to pay attention to, it's like you're driving, right? When you're driving down the road, uh, hopefully you use all three mirrors out there, at least all three mirrors, right? Uh, and the three mirrors are your rear view and your two side view mirrors, right? And there's a specific way that your side view mirrors must be hooked up in order for you to have 360 vision around your car. A lot of times people take those side view mirrors and they, they, they kind of jam them in, you know, to see the side of the car. It, it's insane out there. The left, the left side, the driver's side mirror, the right-hand side of that mirror needs to begin where the rear view mirror, left-hand side of the mirror ends. It's like a complete stream and then vice versa on the right-hand side. That's what gives you that uh, 360 out there. And you want that even though many of you have the little, you know, lights that flash on your side view mirrors when a car is in your blind spot. You don't have to have a blind spot. You too have to have a blind spot. Well, in trade and investing, we don't want blind spots either. So that's why we pay attention to these different time frames out there to generate for us important signals. Five-hour time frame is an important time frame in the uh, in the futures uh, markets out here, and uh, so that's so that's one of the reasons that we uh, use it. If you look at the Russell 2000 five-hour time frame uh, here, and that has been the weak indice out here. If you are trading that. Um, to the downside, and we talked about this a few days ago. Uh, one of our callers had called and said, hey, what do you think about the TZA? And I'm pretty sure we looked at the Russell 2000 during that time period. We said, it looks like this is going to be a, a confirmation, a bearish reversal candle, dark cloud cover here, key reversal session at about 2 o'clock. This was on the trading day of December, I'm sorry, February 25th out there. It's bearish reversal signal. We suggested that price would go down and test the bottom of its profile, which it did. Got down there here yesterday at about 2 o'clock, closed below that. And then, of course, we would have said, I'm sure we could go back and then repeat it uh, out here. What we would say is that the target would be that red solid horizontal line, the time to mark setup trend line established by that nine count. Now, the interesting thing about this, this is my experience with it, is when another nine count occurs, in this case here to the downside, as it was taking place uh, this morning at 9 o'clock, when another nine count occurs and it ends prior to support that actually is a bullish message it's a strong bullish message price didn't even get down to test support you kind of get that like uh, logic out there it's actually really good logic it's logic that works out here so it's no surprise and i sent out an update uh, this morning at about 11 o'clock to subscribers so that they could anticipate and understand what was likely happening what was the message coming from the weak indice out here and it was hey there's a nine count. It doesn't complete uh, until the next session here, two o'clock. But we knew that at nine o'clock we had count number nine. Now the low here either occurs on bar eight, nine. Well, we know it wasn't eight. We knew it was nine or ten. In this case here it was actually ten. The bar following nine. Now it's only 124. I don't know what it's going to be like over the course of the next 36 minutes out here. Anything can happen in these markets. But assuming that we don't go make a lower low, right now price is dealing with the bottom of its five-hour time frame out here. The exact number of that is about 1582. Let me give you the exact number. There's no reason for me to guess. All we have to do is come over here, use the same set of time frames, just go ahead and punch in the uh, tick. Well, You've got to be able to get the keyboard. Oh, that's really a hey, very smooth Stevo. Let me see here. R T Y. See if I can type H19. And on a five hour basis, that profile, that price is oh, so this has got a different profile. Oh, very interesting. 
So here's the deal, and I'm going to go with this as the uh, profile out here. The Russell 2000, if you're short, via TZA as an example, uh, what I'd like you to do is anticipate that the Russell 2000 is going to bounce up to 1590.40, and you're at 1581, so it's another nine points. Just use that, so I don't want you to be, you know, wondering. I want you to know where price is very likely to go. Now, we got a brand new profile out here, bullish in structure. And once you get above the point of control, again, five hour time frame. Here's the key. You're at 1581. 1578 is that point of control. That's where buyers and sellers are. So think of it like this. When the struggle of buyers and sellers is able to push up above that, it's kind of like driving down the expressway. You get caught in traffic. As soon as you get through traffic, if you're anything like me, Bigfoot, uh, leadfoot, uh, you just kind of take off, right? Uh, I, I am not a reckless driver, but uh, uh, there's nothing like speed, if you know what I mean. No, you, I don't even know what that makes. I, I didn't mean that the way that it sounded, uh, but in a car, I just like to be in the fast lane. And there's an Eagles tune out there. So that's Stevie Rhodes in the fast lane when you clear traffic. So watch a five-hour time frame. It's trying to get in that fast lane. Now, maybe it runs out of energy and back into traffic at 1590.40. The time will tell. We'll be right back. We both know you've got what it takes to crush your goals with the will to make it happen. So why haven't you accomplished it yet? For most, the answer is fear. Fear is that limiting factor that stops us from getting what we truly want, but it doesn't have to. That's why on Wednesday, February 27th from 5 to 6 p.m., I'll be hosting my one-hour workshop, Overcoming Fear in Five Easy Steps. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, the 2018 Market Timer of the Year, author of Mastering Probability, and an expert in human emotion. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain free access to this extraordinary workshop where I'll coach you how to bust through your barriers of fear. How you respond to fear is what sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. Look, this could be the most valuable hour we ever spend together. So come to the homepage of TFNN.com and begin your 30-day risk-free trial of Mastering Probability and take the next step towards the life you deserve. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Let's do this here. So, Jay, no new profiles um, in the uh, system. Well, I take that back. I excuse, excuse me, Gail Stevie Martin out there. There is a brand new profile, and it appeared inside of the Russell 2000 um, in its March contract. Uh, uh, subscribers and I had a had a slightly different profile in the Russell 2000 because I had a composite contract, kind of a not fake. Um, but a, uh, a way to be able to stitch together uh, the prior contracts in order to be able to generate information. It gives me a leading, um, it gives me a leading indication of when a market profile forms. So when none exist, I'm always looking at the uh, composite synthetic uh, contracts that I uh, create out here. So you do have new information in the Russell 2000 equity futures contract and approximately 1560 is the support level. 1596 being um, resistance out here. Now, the point of control is where price nessence got to. We're trading back above that. So move up to 1596 is not out of the uh, question uh, here either. Other than that, uh, look, you're above the top of the box right now in the Dow. That says all today was thus far as a test of support. You're really right at it or slightly above it inside the NQ. And the ES Mini is the one that is trading clearly below, not much below, but still below the top, which is 27.98 or 27.93. So five points below that. So we kind of have a, a mixed market message out here. If you were looking for Stevie's red lines, um, uh, or green lines out here on the ES Mini. Uh, here's what we know. Um, it's really hard to see here at about 27.92. So you're really kind of right at it. So a bit neutral as we speak right now. Really neutral in on all of them. The NQ is pretty much neutral. You're right on it. And the uh, Dow, you're pretty much uh, right on it. I'm just looking at my other screen. So no reason for me to go ahead and pull those over. Now many people don't have access. You get it. You can get easy access, by the way, to the equity futures contracts. I believe you can just sign up for the uh, Nadex platform. Yeah, and you can get uh, access to it. So and it's worthwhile if you're if you want to trade patterns. That is, if you're not really interested in trading patterns, um, then hey, then don't spend any uh, then don't waste your time. But if you are interested, you know, if you're trying to understand what the uh, S&P and the NASDAQ 100, the Russell and the Dow are doing, then what you want is you want uh, price discovery. And so the easiest way to get price discovery is not what happens at 4 o'clock when the market closes. And then take a look at the volume there and the ETF structure. I mean, do, do it if you want. I'm just sharing with you maybe a better way, something for you to think about, for being able to identify why is price doing what it's doing out there. And we, we could take a look at the cash indices out here, which I will do that for you, uh, just uh, so that you can have some levels. Uh, for example, in the S&P 500. Now, you're going to see here as I pull over the S&P 500 chart that price is just slightly at 27.92. It's probably about 27.90. We're not going to we're not going to worry about a, a buck or so out here. So but price is slightly above its uh, Stevie's green line. It's oscillator and change line out there. So, you know, that's bullish. Uh, but we know that there's resistance in the ES mini out here. And so that's really what you would be watching in the ES mini. And that'll be 2798. If you close above 2798 in the ES mini, it starts to get a bit iffy as to whether or not um, you should be short the S&P 500. If price stays below that, well, then you know that resistance is held. Your preference is for price to be below both resistance of the oscillator and change line as well as the top of the TAS market profile out there. Inside the Dow, and I guess this goes pretty much for everything, so you take a look at the indices, where they're trading at, and in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you're just slightly above at 26.009, slightly above Stevie's green line out there. Uh, there's topping signals, there's no doubt. So there's this little short window. So back to the, back to the, Back to the uh, statement about, hey, you close over resistance today, you know, do you stay short? Well, you've got this little window up here between potential tops. So in the case of the Dow, you're looking at the trading session. It happens to be a bearish reversal candle as well. That's not why it's a top. It's because of the pattern that completed out here, which was on February 25th. Just happens to be shooting star, which is another kind of message that, okay, the bears are trying to take over. Well, we, we know that. But the question is, is it just a normal retracement, which thus far at 135 in the afternoon, the answer is absolutely. Just nothing more than a normal push down 
to a support level. You've got to break support. And by break support, Stevie means close below it. But do you exit that position? It gives you something to think about. You stay in it. But, boy, if you take out the highs from the 25th, and by takeout, I mean not like takeout Chinese food. I mean like close above the high. Then you've got your message. And the message is you are likely on the wrong side of the trade. Because I can't guarantee anything. But the message would be you're on the wrong side of the trade out there. So that's how you would take a look at it. So uh, now in the case of, for example, the XAU, you've got the GDX pulling back 43 cents. Gold's off 750. You and I have taken a look at this uh, yesterday or the day before. We took a look at the XAU. It was probably yesterday. And we said, hey, hey, there's a problem here. The problem was that all of a sudden you were down below Stevie's green line. Now, there's a nice rally going into yesterday's close out here, but still resistance was at that green line. Today, it's 78. Again, when you close below that, you've lost the momentum. Green, the line is green. It could just be a natural retracement down to another level of support. I don't have that other level of support eyed out just yet in the XAU, but most people are you well, can't trade the XAU per se, but you're looking at the GDX. So if we look at the GDX, let's do this for you. I'm anticipating the question that somebody out there was going to try to ask. Here's what we know on a daily basis. Prices right now find has found support at that point of control. Buyers and sellers both there around 22, 21. They think that there's fair value. The structure of this profile, of this box, is bullish in nature because the bottom at 2203, is closer to the center than the top at 2258. Therein lies your resistance and then your final support at 2203. Will price get down to 2203? I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, if you're kind of like level two support, level three support would be 2203 and below that, you're looking at 2154 at a minimum. And that's the top of the uh, weekly profile out here. So I take a look at the GDX. If you're in that, um, you know that uh, if you see a close below 22.21, you're going to get a free ride down to 22.03. And you get below that, you're looking for a much larger pullback. Now, here's a perfect example of wide price spread accelerated volume. Just going back to our first question when we opened. Here's a high volume day, February 19th. And that was wide price spread, meaning it opened at 22.71, closed at 23.14, and you had accelerated volume. Now, one interpretation is, and this is not a bad interpretation, which is why we've got to go take a look at gold to get a figure out, figure feel, feel for what it's doing out here, is price has really pulled back into a level where a breakout occurred. Normally, the breakout might be at the top of the session where there was a gap to the upside the prior day uh, that would be at 2244 what do we trade at 2232 or it could be the bottom of that candle session at on February 15th at 2202. 2202 happens to line up with our support of 2203. So they're using volume. If you see a close below 2203, it says all those buyers, all that support, that breakout dance would have failed. I'm not saying it's going to fail. Whoops, but one of the influencing factors for sure from the miners is, hey, Steve-O, what's going on with Goldilocks back $7.40? That's the real question. We come back from this break. Let's go answer. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, for Peter in uh, Park City, you want to take a look at uh, gold in multiple currencies out here. So here's a picture, Peter, of gold in dollars, left-hand panel, then euros, yen, and uh, pound sterling. So we can see that the uh, gold traders over in the U.K., they're sellers. They're not buyers right now. We can just see that because gold in their currency has been moving lower and been moving lower rather steeply out here. It's been moving uh, steeply for the last uh, two for five trading sessions out here. Whereas in dollar terms, we've kind of been, we move lower, one big thrust, and then we just went sideways. But what we're seeing out here, in essence, is uh, sellers of gold in, in all the currencies. So there's nothing, we don't see any natural buyers right now with regard to gold. Uh, gold, when we take a look at the uh, daily time frame in dollars, and here's an example, uh, Tucker was asking about uh, the center line of the box. On my charts here with the black screens, uh, you're going to see three lines. The blue ones, if you look in the panel, um, the panel referring to the data box out here, you'll see the blue ones will say top D, center D, bottom D, D for daily, W for weekly out there, and then the colors that match them. So if I've got multiple time frames on a chart, I'm going to use um, you know, different colors. Whereas if you look at, not to confuse you or anything, but I'm confusing you, if you look over at the uh, chart of, um, of gold in uh, euros out here, you're just going to see a red, a blue, and a green. It doesn't really matter. They're just simply, you know, in this case here, it's just, sorry for any maybe inconsistency, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, the point that I wanted to make out here was... Uh, Tucker was asking a great question, which was inside the daily box, easier for me to probably just turn off price because we can turn off price. We don't need to know what price is doing. We just need to know where buyers and sellers are lined up. That's the beauty of it. So if you take a look at the daily profile, that's the blue lines for gold expressed in dollars. You're going to see at 13, 13, 70 is the center line. 13.09 is the bottom and 13.27.30 is the top. So price is moving back as we speak, and it's probably moving back to that 1309, 1330 level. 
Only becomes a problem if you see it close below 1309.20 as we speak right now. So, Z, I'll get back to taking a look at Golden Wan. Let me do this because I've got a number of questions that have come in. Apparently, I was rambling before. So let me get to, to those just to keep things in order out here. But uh, we'll pull up a chart for gold priced in uh, a Wan and SDRs and anything you want. So John in uh, Sarasota, is apparently he's going grouper fishing. He's going grouper fishing because what he wants to take a look at is uh, uh, Essena Retail Group. And, you know, grouper, they're typically at the bottom. And if you take a look at Essena Retail Group, pretty much seems to be at the bottom. And I think the question was, hey, you know, what's going on here? So here in Essena Retail, if you're really trying to get in on this thing, you know, I guess pay somewhat attention. This began breaking out on a monthly basis in May of 2018. And it had slightly accelerated volume for this equity on a monthly basis. That was certainly a widest ranging bar. That was the breakout area. That level is 201. You're at a buck 93. So you never like to see an equity. Now, the month is not over till tomorrow, right? The 28th? Yeah, till tomorrow out there. And then the 29th, which will be March 1st for most people, the 29th, Friday, I want you to bring your, your hats and your, your horns, and we got to wish uh, David White a happy birthday. Youngest guy with inside the TFNN. By far, you just have to cut his normal age by four. Divide by four. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing out there. They really, if he lives to 100, he really could be 400 out there. Man, you got to like that. I, I wish I was born on February 29th. In either event out here, this has come back to a breakout area, so I can say, all right, you know, if you want to take a stab at it, you know, go for it. It's below support, though, right? And below the breakout, so to speak, so you got to be careful. On a weekly basis, you're below the bottom of that profile. Here you can clearly see the breakout and when it began. So prices come back to that level. What you'd like to see, though, right now is price to be above resistance, which is old support. On a weekly base, that's $2.48. Is that 20 or 19 cents really important to you? I think it is. I think it's very important when we just take a look at those profiles. And, and now what you've got, John, is on the daily time frame. Price is also below support. Well, it's right on it. 229 is the end number. So it'd be positive today if price closed over 229. It's right now at 229, which is the bottom of the box out there. What you really want to see is price above 253. Look. I get why you're looking at a Cena retail group out there. I understand the big game grouper out here. Um, just be uh, just be cautious because uh, for the most part, prices down below some critical support levels. Hope that helps you out. Uh, we've got a question here from Earl. Earl the Pearl he wants to take a look. Steve, the QQQ Nasdaq wanted to made a low this morning and then moved up. Is the low from this morning still a low? The index will test again. So you're looking at the cues, and for me, for my purposes out here, I would be having to look at some of the other intraday NQ charts out there to see if I can figure anything out. You know, can I figure anything out? If we take a look at the 30-minute time frame out here, the 30-minute time frame, this is what we've got. Uh, what we might see is that the low today and the NQ was a Gartley buy pattern. Now, and the Gartley pattern is going to have an A to B equals CD to the downside. So we're drawing that in on our system out here. Interestingly enough, with regard to that wave count to the upside uh, from the trading time frame here, this is from the B point to the C point, that's 2330 hours um, on the day of, it looks like, February 25th. Yeah, February 25th, to the high that came in at uh, 2.30 in the afternoon yesterday on the 26th. If you do the wave count, you get up to wave number G. you got to like how this works. So that's why it's important. That's why when we took a look at the cash indices out there, we looked at the Dow. You've got that wave G or the S&P 500. So even these bounces, you've got to take out the, the high that was made from the 25th in order to negate the patterns that are out there. So I don't want to sound like I'm... Bullish, we're taking a look at the message of the markets right now to explain to you what's going on out here. Remember, every guard, this is a this is a girly buy pattern. Every girly buy or sell has got five different outcomes. Some of those outcomes are just, or four of them, are just really retracements out here. Does it have to go back to test the uh, low? 
it, it, the question is, what's the next pattern that's going to unfold? On a 30-minute chart here for the NQ, and I don't know what that pattern is going to be, Earl, we just simply have to watch. Why did price stop where it did? Well, it certainly fulfilled one of its price objectives. And while it was doing that, it was getting down to the bottom of a uh, profile um, on its 30-minute uh, time frame out there. So uh, within the 30-minute time frame, there's still some movement to the upside, or so it appears. But let's take a look at another way to look at it. Why did price stop where it did, right? Isn't that really the question? Why did price stop where it did? And the answer, my friend, uh, is uh, primarily because what price was doing this morning at about 10 o'clock in the ES mini, the Dow and the Russell 2000, three, you get three for the price of one, was testing a really key level of support. I'm sure, even though I wasn't at Tiger's Den, because, you know, fine-tuning this evening's uh, workshop out there, how to overcome fear in five steps out there, it's going to be an extraordinary workshop. It's going to be one of the best. And I think the other ones are really good, too. Hey, back to the NQ out here. You can see that, Alex, it's it's just kind of testing some trend line resistance. So if we can get above that, it's got higher to go. Got to break resistance first. And we're pretty much right at it right now. We'll be right back. In 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark have launched a special for a limited time only. Save 25% off Primal Edge and Health Signals. Just use promo code HEALTH for Health Signals or use promo code PRIMAL for Primal Edge and save 25% off instantly when you sign up. All the details are available on each order page at TFNN. Certified personal trainer Nico DeHaan's newsletter Health Signals comes out twice a month and is packed with great information on health, fitness, and diet. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox, and contains a special blend of ionic soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. This sale won't last long. Sign up now using promo code HEALTH for Health Signals or PRIMAL for Primal Edge and save 25%. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we said we would go take a look at the gold priced in uh, Chinese yuan out here. And uh, right now it's priced at about 8838 8838 
Chinese yuan will get you uh, one uh, Krugerrand, approximately, or one maple leaf out there, one, 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 uh, one pure gold uh, nugget, so one ounce of gold. So if we take a look at uh, price out here, if I look at market profiles, um, price today is below uh, the bottom of its bullish structured box, 89.14. So I've drawn some trend lines in here. So you can still see some rising trend lines if price continues to move lower in terms of uh, gold price and one. You're looking at maybe 87.65 next. If that level of support uh, fails, then you're looking at uh, moving down just simply from a trend line basis, about 84.92. So I hope that helps you out with regard to gold. Priced in uh, Juan. Uh, Susan has a question, so let's go with this. Uh, go, would you be? Would this be a good entry point going long GDX? No, I don't think so, Susan. Uh, okay, here's what I didn't say. You really want to get a take on what gold is doing. And here, we take a look at utilizing these same tools on different time frames. But right now, the five-hour time frame chart for the April contract for gold, I think, is the one that is the most telling. And that is that Stevie's green line out here has acted as resistance. And now what we're seeing is we're seeing a close below, it appears, because we're almost at 2 o'clock, a close below a key level of support. That's this red horizontal line out there. That's at Tommy DeMarco level from 4 o'clock in the morning on February 18th, and that low was 13.24, we're at 13.21. A close below that, Susan, says that we should see an A to B equals CD to the downside, and a price push down to about the 13.09, this is my initial target, 13.09 to the 13.04 level. Now, what I don't know in answering your question, when does that occur? If that occurs overnight, then bounces from there, because you can't buy the GDX at that point in time, then yeah, maybe now would have been the time. But I think you have to wait for patterns to complete inside of Goldilocks. So that's my take. Thanks for writing in. Folks, uh, thanks for being here. Hey, I'd love to see you tonight. Five o'clock It's gonna be the most extraordinary workshop to help you with the psychology of trading. Hey, stay tuned. David White's up next. Talk about psychology of trading. Take care, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.